Some of the things I want you to think about as you're listening to this song and doing this dance, this song isn't what we would call perfectly phrased. There's times where there's an instrumental that happens for just eight beats and other times where it happens for 16 beats, so on and so forth. What we've done is we've built into the dance room for you to kind of play until that next verse or chorus starts. So as you're doing the grapevine sequence to the touch steps, and you're gonna do two of those, what we've done is in the moments where you walk around here and you go step, touch, step, touch, sometimes you can do that for eight beats. Sometimes you'll get that for 16 counts. I believe there's one time you'll do it for 12 counts. What the idea there is that you just groove with that turn until you hear the next verse start. When the next verse starts, you'll go back into your grapevines, yeah? And same thing, you'll work it around the second time until you hear the chorus start for everybody cut foot loose. So you'll do that until the everybody cut foot loose. So we're kind of gearing it a little bit more to the music so that you have some room to breathe, play a little bit, freestyle, until you go to the next course or until you go to the next verse. So later on when we dance this to music, I'm gonna talk about those times as they happen. So I just want you to pay attention a little bit to the music and understand where those shifts occur. <laughs> 